What's going on guys? This is K Vegas Kicks. I'm back with another review for you. One that I'm pretty excited for. This is the Air Jordan 5 OG with that beautiful Nike Air. Guys, this one's coming from copshoe.ru. You can see their information right there, including my discount code for you, KVEGAS, and I'll have all that in the description for you. But it's copshoe on this Jordan 5. Before we get into the review, I want to remind you this video and all the other content on my channel is for educational and entertainment purposes only. You know that I just give you my opinion of the shoes that I review. So guys, let's dive right in these Jordan 5s from Copshoe. So guys, as I said, I was really excited when I saw that this one was available. Um, I love the Air Jordan 5 in this color blocking. This is my favorite as opposed to the one that's got the black midsole. I love the bright fire red, that black on the tongue. I think everything just pops and works well together. And then, bam, when you see that, that's what it's about right there. The Nike Air on the back. Man, these are a hit. So we're gonna start at the bottom. You got your typical Jordan 5 outsole. Of course, it does have that Nike branding. You do have like a icy blue translucent, not the clear. Uh, the herringbone looks good on it and you see the jump man underneath there. Everything on the outsole looks really good, guys. Your midsole is done in kind of like a semi-gloss. The uh, fire red with the black. You can see the shark's teeth, pretty crisp lines there. I'm happy with that. Uh, as is the paint job, you can see the exposed air unit looking good and it is pressurized. You can see that paint job going around to the medial side of this one, pretty stinking clean. Um, no real complaints. Everything looks pretty good. Toe box, you do have a little issue right there, but that's, I mean, that's not uncommon, let me tell you. Uh, stitching looks really good as well. So on the fit on these guys, I've, I've been having some bad luck with Air Jordan 5s. There's been hit or miss whether they're actually a size 13 or not. So these are a size 13. Um, however, they fit maybe slightly snug, like not so snug that I'm not gonna be able to wear them because I actually have had that issue. If you watch some of my previous videos, it fit more like a 12. This one's maybe a 12 and a half, maybe 12 and three quarters. <laughs> um, like they fit me, but I don't know that I could wear them with a crease protector and be super comfortable. So what I would recommend is going up like half size uh, on this pair. Um, now I can't, you know, obviously I can't speak to what a 10 would feel like because sometimes as you go up in sizes, you know, if you order a 10, it might be an actual 10. I don't know about that because I've, you know, I only got what I have in my hand. So based on this size 13, I would go up half size. You know, I'll just take that for what it's worth. Uh, your upper, you've got like a flat leather, basically cover the entire portion of the shoe. Um, the toe box, you do have a little curve here to it. And the stitching is great. Super clean on the leather. Um, very soft, actually bounces back for you. And it's a thick cut of leather. You can see that exposed edge right there. Stitching, again, really clean all around. Does start you off with these white laces. And of course, you got your netting and your mesh underneath there. You have the clear lace lock holder with the red uh, lace lock actually inside there. And I think you can see the jump man on there. Looking good. Um, I should have took it out to see if there's a Nike on the back. I can't tell, you know, sometimes it'll have like the jump man or the Nike, I don't know. Uh, anyway, you got your black on the tongue, very padded. And of course that fire red jump man looking pretty good. And it's outlined as well. Inside the shoe, you got your Air Jordan tag. The tongue is nice and soft. And I think the height on the tongue is pretty good as well. Not too high. You got your red on the sock liner as well as the insole. And I removed the insole from the other shoe. So we'll take a look at that. Of course, you got your white here on the uh, eyelets, black up here on this one. Again, you got your clear netting and your mesh. All that looks good. Um, the bubbles here are, you know, they bounce back. It feels like it should. And of course you have your 23 stitched in a red, shadowed in black. That looks nice. Pretty good shape here. You do have a nice little curve going up the heel. And then what I was most excited about for this shoe to get that beautiful Nike Air on the back just absolutely love it um you know the jump man on there wouldn't have been terrible but man from for my money that right there is what it's about medial side looking good like i showed you before again these bubbles bounce back um pretty good shape here at the reeler you can see you know if you don't look at the bubbles just look at this right here you can see it does have like a sleek curve up design to it and then the you know, bubbles bounce out so that's pretty good um let's bring in the other one and we're going to take a look at it Again, really clean. I mean, just a classic colorway. Um, you just, uh, yeah, you just can't go wrong with it. And then again, with that Nike Air, man, that's just, yeah, looking really good. Height-wise, I think everything's good on that. Let me get you a good shot of that Nike Air stitched in in black. Medial side of this one, really clean. Outsole looking good. 
Again, you got that nice bounce back. And again, it's soft. It is synthetic leather, uh, but it is soft. Um, you know, no, no complaints. It's not the stiff, cheap stuff at all. Jump man on here, looking good as well. And let me get my light on here, guys. And I'm gonna show you the strobel. So this is the one that I actually tried on. Um, you can see the white strobel and it does have the elastic bands on both sides of the tongue, kind of hold that in place. Okay, so that's all good. Um, and then had the paper inside, just some, you know, random, you know, white paper. And then your insole is just kind of like a black foam insole. You do have the red sock liner and the black Jumpman. Again, it's just like a black foam one. And you can see here, this is actually for, I think that's nine and a half through size 12. Um, which again, they do not fit like a size 12. If they were size 12, I might get, I could get them on my foot, but it'd be uncomfortable. Like once I tried them on, I'd be like, no, nah, this ain't gonna work. That's not how this was. And I was kind of, when I first took out the insole, I was like, oh man, this is gonna be one of those Jordan 5s and it's not. Um, so what you might wanna do is in your QC picks, ask for this and you might wanna even request, you know, this shot of the insole so you can see exactly what your size is just to make sure um again i feel like they're gonna be comfortable for me i just don't think i'll be able to wear them and wear a crease protector and be comfortable um you know so just take that for what it's worth try to give you guys a best you know heads up on that kind of stuff that i can um but man this pair just beautiful let's set them aside we're gonna take a look at our box so it is the og style jordan 5 box you got the black lid with the fire red jump man that cement print on the bottom nike air branding you can see it was very well protected by cop shoe and this is an oversized box you got your nike air air jordan and your size tag guys uh white fire red black men's size 13. you can see inside here we got the cement print paper and there were no stickers or anything like that inside the box again cop shoe with a wonderful job protecting this box which i really appreciate um and the shoes themselves just beautiful classic og style that you just cannot go wrong with so anyway guys that's my unboxing review of this air jordan 5 og fire red again with that beautiful nike air i hope you enjoyed the review and it was helpful for you let me know what you think about them in the comments guys and be on the lookout because we've got a lot more of these unboxing reviews coming your way